side of the field. It's played over to Van der Els. He picks up uh, Trevor now. It's a good ball. Peter Trevor. And Bookie Boy with the head up. He's put in some terrific little crosses in the game so far, but that's something Mikhail Cech has got to got to watch out for him. This is McCall. It's aimed at Hayfley. Well, better play from Rangers. And uh, McCall certainly found plenty of space. And uh, got in the cross. Yeah, just flung this one over. And obviously that's a ploy that Rangers will be using tonight. Mario, Mark Hay. They send all the big defenders forward. Punch away by Gorham. This is Van der Elst. Well, this is the corner kick, and it's a really good punch out by Andy Gorham here. Gets to the edge of the box, and nearly the perfect ball if Van der Elf just clips the bottom of the crossbar. That was... So now it's the throw-in. And the long one from Robertson, aimed at Hayley. He gets a little touch for Clayson there, and the goalkeeper takes it at the second attempt. And that will certainly lift morale among the Rangers fans. Hayley there with the touch, and McCoyst in there, and showing the threat they carry. To Boy, Trevi again. He's got Verheyen on the outside, but he sends in the cross. Have a catch, he's in there. And that wasn't far away from in this diving header by Daniel Amakachi. Well, this is another terrific cross from Trevi. Amakachi just gets in front of Davy Header. Davy McPherson there, powerful header, but thankfully for Rangers, just slips past the post. Well, this bit the weight is right. This is better play by Rangers. Ball takes a deflection into the path of McCoyst. It's off the bar. And Mikhail Lachenko sends it over. Well, how unlucky for Ali McCoyst. But having said that, Van der Elst was so unlucky at the other end. Yeah, breaks, breaks lovely here. McCoyst makes a near post run. Looks up, tries the cross, I feel. I don't think he really went to chip the goalkeeper. It falls on Mikhail Lachenko. You look here again. This is a great opportunity. I had broken forward there in the hope of the cross ball being played in. He's still up there. He's broken out of his defensive role. So six minutes left, and that goes in there from Stellens. Well, he's broken forward from his defensive role. He has been playing up front on occasion for Bruges. And uh, certainly carries a threat in there. He wasn't picked up. A slip by Trevor. Played through by Mikhail Achenko for Hayfley. Still Hayfley motoring through here, and the goalkeeper does well. It's Mikhail Achenko trying the first time effort. Oh, a terrific effort by Mikhail Achenko. But uh, the referee has uh, spotted an infringement and uh, given a free kick. Great awareness by Alexei Mikhail Achenko, who tonight uh, is playing his fourth European tie of the season. Yeah, I thought he was going to make up for his um, earlier headed miss here. Terrific imagination, looks up. And it's most certainly got in there. Trevor. Okay, Boy gets a touch. Mikhail Lachenko's in there, he's set it up. And Dubinsky has scored. 44 minutes gone. And Bruce takes the lead. Well, what a mistake. Well, this is a terrible attempt at a defensive header here. I mean, the long throw, which has caused Rangers once one or two problems in the first half, and I don't really know what Mikhail Lachenko's thinking about there. And unfortunately, in that instance, felt lovely for Dubinsky. It's back of the net. Through for Amakachi. Again, Amakachi using his best. That's a tremendous effort. Yeah, it was a nice little ball slipped in here with Berkman, just in behind David McPherson. Amakachi runs onto it, has a shot for well. It may have been better try to slip that one across the goal. Through to McCoy's. This is 
Mikhaila Chimko. Hastley's in there! A tremendous rebound by London! And it was Hausner who was falling up. Well, how did that one stay out? A terrific save by Van Linden. Mikhaila Chimko did well. He got it to Hastley, the goalkeeper brilliantly diving down there. This is Robertson. He's chased by Verheyen. There's McCoist! And a really good save from Danny Van Linden. Verlinden called action twice in the early stages of the second half, but uh, Robertson it was who got it into McCoy's and they get away from Quarter. Hauser wins it back. This is McCall. Still McCall! And the ball goes behind for the goal kick. Well, McCall showing all of his battling qualities there. He's got four goals this season. All of them have come incidentally when he's been wearing the number two shirt, but tonight he's in his more recognisable. Like a slight ball by Rudy Fossey, picked up by John Brown, perhaps a chance for Rangers to do something here at Brown! That was a fine effort. The combination written all over the face of John Brown, he sprung forward from the fence. He... McPherson's well forward. This is Houstra. Borkelman's with him all the way, still Houstra. Trying to find the opening, he does well to get in the cross, and then the header! Again, it's the goalkeeper right across the hall. McPherson with a downward header. Seemed it must go in. Uh, takes away out to Peter Kravitz. The counter attack's on here, and the catch is calling for it. There's no flag. Let's have a catch here. And a marvellous save by Andy Gorham. Well, David McPherson just didn't have the legs to get back with a catch in. Well, this is just one of the problems that happens when you're chasing the game. One minute, David Berlinden made a fantastic good save for David McPherson. Uh, and before tonight, uh, two shutouts. Well, this was McPherson's header, downward header, a marvellous one-handed save by Danny. Plays it through now to Robertson. The early cross to Ali McCoyce. McCoy's claiming there was a deflection, but the referee is saying, no, it's a goal kick. It was a good bit of play here by Ali McCoy as well. Once again, ball in from the left from David Roberts. Shields it well. So it's Mikhailo Chenko. This is McCall. McCoy leaves it to Hausler. Peter Hausler scores for Rangers. Through by Van der Els to Stalins, who's well forward to cut out by John Brown, who breaks on here for Rangers. That's a great ball through to Ali McCoyce, but he had to step in at first time, he was being closed down. But John Brown doing exceedingly well, and it was Rudy Cossey who did just enough there to make McCoy shoot early. And there goes the final whistle, so Rangers remain undefeated in this Champions Cup and Champions League there are warm handshakes all round it was the Vinsky who put Club Bruges ahead after 44 minutes but then Peter Houstra equalised in the second half